Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have posted, let alone done a big restock haul. So I went to Sam's, Aldi, and Walmart. I will start with Sam's. This was a big restock. I was hoping to top off our freezers as well as some household items that I won't need to restock for quite a while. I picked up two rotisserie chickens. We will take the meat off of these and freeze them in two different gallon Ziploc bags to be used for easy, super quick dinners on busy nights. Two containers of ham lunch meat and one turkey. These last for a good month in the fridge, although they won't last quite that long in my house. Anytime I find these ribeyes on sale at Sam's, this was almost $8 off the package, I pick them up. Um, I can make three of these ribeyes medium rare and slice them up and serve my whole family steak. So we'll all get like four or five slices and we'll have like potatoes and veggies on the side and it is delicious and a really nice treat. Every month I like to pick up three of these two packs of pork tenderloins and there's actually four per package. So like this is a two pack, but there's two in here and two in here. I like to season them and cook them in the sous vide all day and then sear them on the skillet before serving them. They are delicious. It is one of my favorite easy meals because I just stick it in the sous vide. It goes all day and then it takes me like 10 minutes to get it from the sous vide onto the plate and it's so tasty and it's great for when you have company over as well i got two packages or two trays rather of chicken breasts these are currently 268 a pound which really isn't too bad nowadays for chicken breasts boneless skinless i will probably there are usually let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine anywhere from seven to ten sometimes chicken breasts per tray these are the big ones from sam's and I will divide them up probably four or five chicken breasts per freezer bag and stick them in the freezer. They can be used for anything from tacos, casseroles, enchiladas, making chicken salad. It's convenient to have them kind of portioned out in the freezer. Sometimes I even um, cube them up and put them in freezer bags for sweet and sour chicken or butter chicken. Anything that makes it a little easier to meal prep is great. I needed to restock our Montreal steak seasoning. I will use this steak seasoning to go ahead and season these ribeyes before I wrap them individually in plastic wrap and then stick them in a freezer bag. These will also go in the sous vide on the day that we're gonna make them. I got two bags of our favorite Cosmic Crisp apples. These are only $5 for a four pound bag right now, which is a fantastic price on these apples. Sometimes when they're not in season, which they're not in season right now, really, but sometimes they go up as much as eight or $9 a bag, which is when we do not buy them. But I was glad to get them inexpensively. I will probably go back and get two more bags in about two weeks. This is my favorite dishwasher tab, the Quantum Finish. And this 100 tab box is $19. And I got two boxes, so $40. And I will not need to buy dishwasher tabs again for probably six months. That's amazing. It's just nice to spend an extra $20 to get two boxes and not have to replace them again for quite a long time. I bought four of these four packs of butter, so 16 pounds of butter. Our cow is producing lots more rich cream right now, now that she is out on green pasture again because it is spring. But we also have a lot of friends that we um, share our milk with, and so we don't always have enough cream to make our own butter. I actually did make butter over the weekend, which was wonderful, and it's nice and rich now, not the pale, sad stuff anymore. But it is always, always nice to have plenty of butter set back in the freezer. These are my daughter's favorite cheese sticks. And these are my son's favorite cheese sticks. It's funny, I bought a different brand of the mozzarella string cheese last month. And my son Charlie was like, these are not the same. And he he did not like them and he has not eaten much of them so we have kind of been using them as dog treats <laughs> and i picked up the ones that he likes i restocked our maple syrup for the pantry 
got three of those. I feel like they have shrunk. Well, 32 fluid ounces, maybe not. The container just seems smaller. My husband loves Swiss cheese, so I try to pick up a package of sliced Swiss every month when I go back to Sam's. And my kids were revolting the other day because I made cheeseburgers and did not have any American cheese, which apparently is their favorite for grilled cheese sandwiches or on a burger. Any other time we use mozzarella, Colby Jack, sharp cheddar, but they really wanted American. So I decided to surprise them and pick up this massive um, package of American cheese. And I will also take about 10 of these slices and replenish my neighbor's American cheese who let us borrow some of hers. I got four bottles of avocado oil. We made sweet and sour shrimp with fried rice last week and I finished off my last bottle of avocado oil. So this should last us at least two months, I think. And we don't fry things very often, so hopefully um, we won't have to buy more for a little while. Four pounds of sharp cheddar. These will not last us the whole month, but at least for the next couple of weeks. Bananas. Two packages of Brussels sprouts. I am still loving roasted Brussels sprouts right now. We go through two of these a month, typically. And I just, I don't buy any more after we've gone through two. So I will get another one of these in probably two weeks. They are our favorite medley that I pick up at Sam's for about $5, which is fantastic. We don't typically eat raw celery in our house. Just nobody loves it. But I do love to chop it up and freeze it in small packages in the freezer for cooking and baking. Well, not baking, <laughs> cooking and soups and things like that. So I am, that is what I'm gonna do with this big two and a half pound bag of celery. This time of year, as fresh veggies abound in the grocery store and not too long from now, we will start having some in the garden. I like to just buy spring mix a couple times a month, these big ones. And instead of worrying about like roasted veggies or steamed veggies with our dinners, I just fix a big salad as a side. So I'm looking forward to that. I meant to pick up some cucumbers and forgot. So I think I'll probably send somebody to get cucumbers. I love this time of year at Sam's and Costco because they have all sorts of perennials. They had raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, but these two packs of seedless grapes caught my eye. They were $13 per box. So um, about a little over $6 per plant and they are bare root plants although both um yeah uh, green grape plants have or the vines have already totally sprouted out of the box so i'm looking forward to getting these in the ground um, we have never grown grapes before so it'll be fun i'm gonna have to put them in a pot for now until i figure out where we're going to put them of course i cannot run to sam's without picking up at least one box of family size toilet paper. This lasts us a whole month, although I usually buy two of them. Here is another plant that I purchased. This also was, I think, 12 or $13. Extra large elephant ears. Um, one of my twins loves elephant ears. She thinks they're so pretty, and I think they look really nice in large decorative pots, like on the patio, I have a neighbor who has them around her pool deck and they're so pretty. She plants them in a really large planter with flowers around the bottom. And so I think we're gonna put these, It was there's two in there. I think we're gonna put them in large decorative pots and put them on our back deck where we currently don't have any color or anything really pretty. I bought six bell peppers and I'm just going to slice these up and put them in the freezer in two different quart bags and we'll use them for things like fajitas this month. A big bag of sweet onions. We are just a few hours away from Vidalia, Georgia, where the Vidalia onion is produced. And when sweet onions start to make their appearance in grocery stores around here, it is very exciting. These are not Vidalias, but they will be out soon. Sam's had fantastic prices on bathing suits. I'm going to show you these. So this one. I picked up for my youngest daughter. It's just a tankini. This was a cute swim trunk rash guard combo that my little nephew wanted. 
um, the big kid bathing suits were $11 and the rash guard sets were 16 And my sister-in-law said she spent 40 on a rash guard set at Target and she was thrilled when I texted her about these Jeep ones. And then these Hurley swim trunks for my youngest son were also about $11 and it's fantastic. We are finally going back to the beach this year. So we are really excited to get some new bathing suits and get ready for that trip. Sam's also had these leather work gloves, which my husband and my son that still lives at home use regularly for their outside work. These were $20 for two pairs. He said he can find his favorite ones on Amazon, but they're $12 a pair. So this was a better deal and it never hurts to have backups of your favorite work gloves. Before the pantry challenge, I purchased 30 pounds of potatoes and that lasted us almost two whole months. So I bought 30 pounds again and I know it'll last us more than a month. I'm not sure about two whole months, but I plan on getting our potatoes in the ground in the next couple of days, actually. A bag of mandarin oranges. We go through two or three of these a month. I probably should have just gotten two. I only bought one today. A bag of shrimp to give us a little variety in our dinners this month. We'll probably can make two dinners out of that big bag. And a six pound bag of Italian style meatballs. That helps to make a really fast uh, meatball sub dinner or even spaghetti and meatballs on crazy nights. And then I got 60 pounds of organic unbleached all purpose flour just to kind of restock my pantry. I am trying really hard to get back in the habit of just thinking ahead better with our meal planning and making our bread, making our tortillas. Um, my oldest son's girlfriend and I made tortillas and we made butter and enchilada sauce over the weekend. It was so fun to spend the whole afternoon in the kitchen with her and she had never made any of those things and it was fun to share those um, recipes with her as well as making tortillas again. I hadn't made them in a while and it just reminded me that I don't need to buy them. They're so delicious from scratch and so simple. I also restocked our pantry sugar. I get this organic cane sugar from Costco. It is a 10 pound bag for a little over $8. 60 pounds will last us well over probably close to a year I think that's about how much we get I don't know definitely six months 10 pounds a month that seems like a lot so I think this will last us about eight months at Walmart oh wait one more thing at, at Costco our favorite protein bars mostly these 40 protein bars go with my two youngest to school for their snacks I don't like sending them anything with sugar in their lunches or in their snacks, and these are full of protein, they're tasty, and they don't have sugar in them. Now moving on to Walmart. This was a very adult purchase. <laughs> I needed some more Sharpies. We use Sharpies to label plastic cups when we have guests, lots of guests over and we don't wanna use glasses. We use the Sharpies to label our milk jars with the date or if they're going to a friend, we put their name on it. So it was time to restock Sharpies. I don't think I've purchased them in several years. So hopefully we can hang on to these for quite a while. I bought three more bottles of dish detergent. By the way, my pretty decorative glass soap dispenser that is more like for hand soap, but I've been using it for dish soap, has been a huge success in portion control for my children when they are on dish duty. We've been going through a lot less dish detergent, which has been very nice on my budget. I restocked my husband's body wash. I had made the mistake of buying I don't know if it was lavender. It was something extremely floral. And he was getting out of the shower and I'm like, whoo, you smell like a woman. <laughs> it was too, too sweet and flowery. So I just got, I think, milk and honey and maybe coconut. I don't know what the other one was, but it's much more mild. This is my favorite hand cream. Okay, I'm in my 40s now. When I am driving and looking at the top of my hands, it is um, quite a reality check. And I love how soft and smooth this crepe corrector hand cream makes the top of my hands look. I got two big bottles of shampoo conditioner combo. I haven't bought Pantene in years, but I think this might do well on my youngest daughter's hair. This was a splurge just for mama. Small bottles of Diet Dr. Pepper. I drink one every day or two, and it's just a treat.
for me. Restocked our bar soap. My oldest girls like to keep these in their bathroom for their shower. Smells so good, shea butter and vanilla. Now, I ended up buying a total of about 14 of these triple zero yogurts, but I had already put them in the fridge, so I just got a few of them out to show you. I love putting these in my youngest kids' lunches. They're loaded with protein, they're sweetened with stevia, but they actually taste really good, and they're also low carb. Um, our favorites are peach, lemon, and salted caramel. They also really like strawberry, but they were sold out of that one. So I bought 14 of these. They're a little over a dollar a piece, and I'll send them in their lunches every couple of days, not every day, or that wouldn't be very economical. And then moving on to Aldi, we got four bags of the spicy pork rinds. These the flavor of these are so good. I don't really eat them much, but my oldest daughter and my husband both really like them. Aldi's my favorite source for organic ketchup. I got six, no, seven bottles to restock the pantry. I also like their price on nuts, so I got two bags of these sea salt pistachios that are still in the shell. My kids will also take these to school for snacks as well. They are really good. And I've mentioned this before, but Aldi has our very favorite mixed nuts. We get the deluxe because they do not have peanuts in them. And it's almonds, cashews, pistachios, pecans, and macadamia nuts. And they are perfectly roasted and salted. So, so good. And we go through about two of these a month. We could probably go through more, but once we run out, I don't go get any more. They're about $12 a container. My total at Costco was $154.55. Sam's was $597.94. Walmart was $151.95. And Aldi was $55.35, bringing my grand total to $959.79. That is the most I have spent in one day on groceries in a very long time. And because of the weeks of the month and where they fall this month, I will probably make two more trips to uh, back for fresh produce this month. Thanks for watching.